it's been one year and Windows computers are still vulnerable to mass outages like that CrowdStrike crash that took out 8.5 million computers into blue screens of death. So has anything changed with CrowdStrike, Microsoft, and the EU? Yeah, there have been a couple changes. Starting with CrowdStrike, they say they've improved their quality assurance processes. They've improved how they roll out updates to their users. So hopefully they won't roll out an untested fix to everyone all at once again. And they are committed to minimizing their kernel usage. Now, Microsoft, just a month ago, finally rolled out three improvements for Windows for testing purposes. They're not out yet. They're just finally letting us try them out. One, they have a new API to let security software like CrowdStrike do what they need to do without being in the kernel. So APIs where they run outside the kernel and do whatever they need to do without having the ability to crash the whole computer. Two, they've added a new feature called QMR, Quick Machine Recovery. So if your computer keeps crashing every time it boots, it stops, and the next time it boots, it comes up in this recovery mode where it doesn't load any drivers from anyone but Microsoft, and you get a chance to uninstall things and fix them up. And three, blue screens of death are now black, so no one will get a blue screen of death again. So that's a pretty great improvement, I guess. Game changer. Now, EU, of course, you asked about, and they've changed nothing. And the reason this matters is that they set a ruling that stopped Microsoft from locking other security vendors out of the kernel. So that new API they put out, it's entirely optional. Security companies can still go in the kernel. And so Microsoft very much did blame the EU for this terrible ruling. But the ruling exists to preserve competition. The fear was that Microsoft would build their security stuff right to the kernel and everyone else would have to use this API. So at least there's been a lot of talk, but they haven't done it yet, of Microsoft moving their own software out to use the same API. And I think at that point, Europe would bend. But do you think for now, a disaster like that could happen again? Yeah, I mean, nothing's actually changed. All those improvements I mentioned are in testing. At this moment, there have been no real improvements. Someone like CrowdStrike could crash your computer tomorrow with a kernel driver. Subscribe for more connectivity and security tech discussions.